opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. D3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This overlooks a better way to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. Black had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is a miss. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. The game was close to balanced, but now white is worse. It is a mistake. The game is still close to equal, but black lost their advantage. It is a miss. The game was close to equal, but now black has the advantage. It is a miss. This loses a pawn. It is a blunder. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It is a miss. Recaptures. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to kick a rook. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks a better way to defend a knight that was under attack. This permits the opponent to kick a rook. It is a miss. 
This threatens to kick a knight. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to kick a rook. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This misses an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a miss. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a miss. An interesting move, although not technically the best. It is good. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing rook. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is excellent. This is not the best move, but an interesting alternative. It is good. Takes back. It is good. This captures a vulnerable knight. This is the start of the end game and black is winning. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. The middle game battle was fairly even.